Another big crowd filing in and for now, Saturday night baseball here at Fenway Park in Boston. Boston. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Kansas City Royals and the Boston Red Sox. Get ready for Red Sox baseball next. Tim Lincecum is on the mound for game two. HR, what's the word on him? Well, he has got an excellent strikeout to walk ratio. He's dominating hitters. He doesn't walk guys. He's around the plate. And that number alone just tells me his stuff is dominating and hitters can't catch up to it. Let's watch him execute in this game. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Harold Reynolds, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Yeah, Matt, I mean, everything's working for them. They've increased their lead in their division. They're blowing everybody away. The challenge, I think, moving forward is just to stay focused and motivated as they know they're going to be a playoff team. And that's through for a hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. Hey, you go to the plate in the first That's inning, you hit a ball back up the middle, a little ground That's ball gets 14. through up the middle. Good approach. Anthony I like the fact he's thinking oh. up the middle early in the game. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw to second, and they get him. So the sacrifice attempt is unsuccessful here. Batting third. First, base first pitch down 44. from Lincecum. Runners going. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. 0-2, here it is. Line toward center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Well, he had two strikes on the hitter. Perfect count to put him away. Tried to elevate the fastball, just didn't get it up there enough. Brandon Moss. Stepping in now, Brandon Moss. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. First and second now, one man out. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Swing and a liner, but foul. Now Lincecum's 1-2 down the first baseline. Fielded cleanly by Belt. There's one on to Belt, but it won't be in time as they just settle for one. Coming to the plate now, the Salvador Perez. He comes in currently Salvador tied for Perez. third in home runs on the team. Runners at the corners, two men out. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. And that slider's almost in the dirt. It's a big at bat right here, Matt. You have to get to him early in the game. I know there's two outs. You got to run the scoring position. But the good pitchers get stronger the deeper they go in the game. Ben Intendi is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job. Number 64 will be the starter for the Royals in this one. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, I'm really excited to see what this side. rookie can do. You know, he's getting his feet wet up here in the big leagues, and he's learning the, the hitters, and the hitters are learning him. And right now, he's been doing okay. Harold Reynolds, we look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matt, they've been a little up and down on this road trip. A little inconsistent, but two and two is not bad. Better than being 0 and 4. They win this game today, though, and it really kind of turns the tide for them a bit. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Under this one is Soler, and he'll handle it for the first out. Now a chance here from Fenway to take a look at John Farrell's starting lineup card. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Yeah, when he's going good, there are very few guys as fun to watch as Hanley Ramirez. He was driving in runs like... A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap, and it bangs off the monster. He'll get it into second. The tag, and he's nabbed, trying for two. Well, he clearly thought right he had a shot fielder. at two on the hit, but they did a nice job in the outfield of getting it in quick to cut him down. Here's Mookie Betts having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. First pitch on its way. 
A little bouncer. Foul ball, however, strike one. Now the 0 1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Way in front of that fastball. That's a well placed fastball right there, just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. That gets down, and the inning continues. So with two out, that means Hanley Ramirez will also get an opportunity here. Here's Hanley Ramirez. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Runner on first with two away. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Beautiful changeup. Got him out front with that swing right there. That's what a changeup will do. Just keep you off balance. Chopped weakly to the left. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Here's the left fielder Alex Gordon. He's currently hitting just under 310 on the season. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Whoa, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two strike changeup. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man. He left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Alex seven. Gordon goes oh, down to become the first ball. out here oh, in the second Jorge. inning. Jorge Soler is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Chopped foul right by home plate, and it's a ball and a strike. On the ground to third. Oh, what a stop on the slide. What a way to get it out. Two gone now. That was exceptional. Batting eight. Third base. Coming to the plate eight. now, Mike, Mike Moustakis. Moustakis. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. Oh, and this goes right past him. He's around first, heading for two. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Man, that's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a good pitch like that and he still gets a base hit. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Whit Merrifield is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Lincecum ready the 0 1 now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate back to back change ups and fouled that one off right there I don't a swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it here's Xander Bogarts now and he enters play Leading today currently the fifth in the American League the in hitting Xander Bogart. breaks as bad as this one's popped up Here comes the 0-1. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Oh, and look out as they brush him back here. It's ball one. One and two, here it comes. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so-called pitchers' pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. From 0-2 to 3-2, to what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Batting six, first baseman, Brandon 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Well, that fastball's always the hardest one to lay off. It's right there in your eyes. It looks so good. Good job of holding up. The one and zero delivery. Changeup stays outside and he's behind two and zero. Now with the two zero count and the power at the plate, it could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. Has a look. Now the pitch. Foul back. Two one here it is. It's a swinging bunt up the line, but it gets foul. Nobody out runner on first. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone and there's one away. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Royals. And I'm looking out there at Anthony Ghost. This guy's got a cannon for an arm. And the combination of speed to go get the ball and make the throws makes him an impressive big league center fielder. First pitch here is hit off to the right side and fouled. It's strike one. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Merrifield onto the grass. He gets there, and that's the second out. Batting Stepping eight. into the box, Patrick. Andrew Valenzuela. He Valenzuela. certainly had it working for him at the plate this season. The average is up over 350 entering play. Dear now not. a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. That just can't happen. I mean, first pitch, if you know what you're going to swing at, you got to have a good swing. You can't take a bad swing on the first pitch of a net bat. There is Escobar. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Digging in to try it again. Alcides Escobar. He'll start things off now Alcides against Tim Lincecum. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's in for a base hit. His second in his many trips to the plate. So he's aboard again with his second hit of the game here in the top of the third. And as you can see there, he's currently leading the Royals in that category. Now a bunt attempt here. But a strong throw gets him at second, so the sacrifice does not pay off here. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. First baseman number 44. Striding in once again, Victor Martinez. Victor Martinez. He singled his last time up. Right side. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Got the ground ball he's looking for right there. Hard grounder, but it just wasn't at somebody. If it's at somebody, it's a double Brandon play ball. Moss. Now he's got to get back to work and maybe get another one. Brandon Moss comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's 1 and 2. Well, that's not a good pitch for him to hit. Look, this fellow's got so much power. But you've got to bring the pitch into the zone. Chasing that one there right there, I'd go back and throw it to him again. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. The catcher, number 13. Chopped in Salvador front of home plate. Perez. On to first, and the Royals can't cash in as the inning is over. Royals strand a pair. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Leading and you can see side. his home Number road splits there. He has not fared Jackie very well in Bradley front of the home crowd, Junior. oddly enough. He's set. Here it comes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Goes is after it. One away. Now batting. Left fielder. Andrew. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch coming. Here it is. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. 
Around first, digging for two. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Let's take another look at just the textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia, as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. And a neck-high fastball that time. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. Three and oh now. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. Here's the 3 1. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Now batting. Digging in for his second at bat, Mookie Betts. One for one after a single his first time up. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1 and 0. The 1 and 0 delivery. And this is fouled into the seats over from first. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Ghost ranging back. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And this will get over the wall, in fact. So just the one run will be allowed to score. Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here it comes, 1 and 0. And the changeup is way low that time. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here, but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. Here's a drive out toward the gap in left center. In to score, the runner from third. And both runners will score. It's now a three to nothing ball game. And he is in the second base with a two run double. The shortstop, number two. Here's Xander Xander Bogarts Bogart. now. He drew a base on balls his first time up. First pitch on its way. Here's a first pitch chop foul right at home plate, and that's the first strike. The 0 1 on its way. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Oh, and two home now to Bogarts. Nope. That misses nope. one and two. Well, you can't fall back any further. This team they're playing right now is just too good. They're one of the best teams in the league, and they capitalize on mistakes. You got to get. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. And this thing bounces over the wall, but I don't think it would have mattered if it stayed in the ballpark. Either way, the runner was going to score, and he was going to wind up at second. He drove that ball really nicely. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Belt. That's he'll ground this one foul for the first strike. Here comes the 0-1. 
And he lays off for ball one. Hey, that's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. 50th pitch of the game on its way. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Ready with two balls and a strike. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. Set to deal on two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Ready for another chance? It? Eduardo Third Nunez. He flew and out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Skied into straightaway right. So there on the move. And that ends the inning. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Leading Alex Gordon. Royal. He'll try to well, get it going here to four. begin the fourth. Alex. Now Gordon. a fastball is swung on and tipped foul right near home plate. It's strike one. And that misses one and one. From the windup, the one one pitch. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. And that's in there. Base hit. And the Royals are going to get a man into scoring position right away on the leadoff double. The right fielder number Digging 12. in. Jorge Soler Jorge. comes into Soler. this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And that's in there for strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now down 0 and 2. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And the run is in from second as they're on the board for the first time. Four to one now. Back to back doubles now and that's a great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done and he comes right behind him following suit. Lacing a double of his own could be a big inning if this continues. Tap down the line. That winds up foul for the second strike. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. Now batting. Whit Merrifield stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. He's in scoring position with his 15th double of the year. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. Lincecum readies another 0-2. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. High in the air out towards shallow right. Betts has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. The batter, number two. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. Alcides two base Escobar. hits, both singles to this point. And he lays off there, 1-0. Two runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. And that's a fair ball as it'll head for the 3-10 sign on the monster. The relay, but he'll get in there with an RBI double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Anthony Goes is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1-0. Big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. One and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Three. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled him off instead of putting it in the seats. So it's a backwards K on the changeup that time. Anthony Victor goes. Sent packing for the second out of the inning. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. 
So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left. Digging in the switch hitter, Andrew Valenzuela. And Leading Dan, I'm the sure the inning. starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind Andrew button on that Valenzuela. last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. I think this is an important inning for him. He just had a couple of runs given to him, and now it's his job to show the guys I appreciate it by shutting them down. 1-0 pitch on the way. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. Well, that base hit right there extends his streak to nine games. Now, we've been watching him. That's a couple series now. He's starting to swing the bat. You've got to start paying attention to this guy. He's getting hot. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Steve and that swung on and missed for strike one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Tried to stay back on the changeup there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Well, now it's a 1 2 count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. And here's a drive sent out to deep left center field. Is it high enough to get over the monster? It is gone. A home run. So a two-run shot to left center, number 11 for him on the season, and it's now six to three. This is the first home run of the game, but the bats are definitely alive for both teams tonight. There have been a ton of hits already. These pitchers might want to duck and cover if things continue this way. Here Brian Flynn play. answers the now call from the pen the here in the fourth as Number they didn't get the outing they were hoping Brian for from their starter. Flynn. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Now a pitch popped up. Should be enough room for Perez behind the plate. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. That's down the left side. Will Gordon have a play? No, it's a foul ball. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? And that one stayed too low, apparently. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And look out as that one ran in and got him. This pitch just misses a bit inside and catches him about oh, mid-thigh. The That's the meaty right part of the leg, so as soon as the initial Mookie. pain wears off, he should be just fine. Mookie yeah. Betts is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. We might be in for a light show. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Six runs, eight hits, and one error on the Boston line score. Now a breaking ball runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. Well, he came right back in there after he hit the previous batter. I like that. If you're going to work inside, you're going to hit a few guys, but you can't let that change your game plan. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box.
Here's the one and two delivery. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Runner at first here, one man out. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Here's Hanley Ramirez. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. Comes set and the 0 1. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at 1. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. It's a two-run shot for Hanley Ramirez. Number 43 on the year for him as they open it up to 8-3. to three. Boy, when the leading MVP candidate steps into the box, I'm not sure it's wise to challenge him, especially with a pitch like this. But they do, and he shot. makes them Number pay two. for their mistake. Sander. He's been doing this all year long. Fouled straight back. Set to deliver the 0-1. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Ready for another shot now. Brandon Belt, 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gordon going back on it. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength.